Okay, so it's another day, it's another video. Um, my son, Zachary, who you've seen a few times, so we'll probably be in more videos as the year goes on, has told me that every Friday should be pajama Friday. So I'm actually in my pajamas right now. Um, I posted some stuff on Canvas under announcements. We're gonna start doing video conferences every day. We need to work out a time. Got something from Kale, thank you very much about what we're gonna do and when we're gonna meet. There are daily review sessions every day. I posted that link online to YouTube and the Times. I will have that be a reoccurring thing every day so you guys know what's going on. I was talking about on the announcements having us go and talk about it right afterwards. But if that doesn't work for everybody or that time's rough, maybe we can talk about it the next day and prep for the lessons and we can start getting going from there. Um, they just started. If we start Monday, we can go back and double back and watch some at different times and catch up from there. Today is executing the law. Um, yesterday, we talked about the executive office and the cabinet and independent regulatory agencies again. Uh, I will start posting review stuff for essays. I have a huge thing to review. Um, it's all PDF. I will print it. I will break it down and I will post it in chunks for you guys. But today, executing the law, the president's responsible for executing or in the president's responsible for carrying out the nation's laws. But what you guys have to understand is there's some serious discretion here in what the president does in interpretations. So the president's allowed to decide how vigorously to enforce those laws. Think about Obama and marijuana in Colorado when it first became legal. He chose, he told his attorney general from yesterday, the enforcer of the laws, he told his attorney general how to enforce those laws in Colorado. Don't go after it if they're legal. Meaning, if the state of Colorado granted a particular person or group a distribution license, then the federal government wouldn't rate it. Now, that doesn't mean that the average dude in the corner can still have 10 pounds of marijuana in his trunk. That's not what they're talking about. They have to be regulated by the state. So... There's two sources of power for the president when it comes to execution. One is the Constitution or the statute law, what grants him, and the other is congressional power. They can both decide how they want the law to be enforced. The president can interpret it in the way that he wants to enforce it, and Congress passes it. So there's some kind of room here. Think about right now in the way that Obama and Trump have enforced environmental laws. They both kind of dealt with it in a different way. So as a result, those laws are enforced in different standards. That's up to the president to do depending on their discretion. Okay, so enforcement of laws gives the president some power on how he wants to execute them, right? His interpretation. So let's move on to this next slide here. So there's this thing called the ordinance power. The president has the authority to issue executive orders. That's where these come from, to members of the bureaucracy. If you're looking at the PowerPoint, you're looking at this, please understand it's the bureaucracy that he issues executive orders to. He cannot issue executive orders to us. That would be a law. Can't do that. But he can issue executive orders to the bureaucracy, to the military, to immigration, to economy, to the Commerce Department, you name it. Executive orders have the force of law for the bureaucracy, but without the involvement of Congress. Executive orders can be overruled by the Supreme Court. Look at Trump. He had them overruled. Uh, Truman, we're going to talk about that. He had them overruled. And executive orders can be reversed by the next president. So one president can get rid of another executive order. Now, I'm going to quickly explain Youngstown Sheet and Tool Company. I want you to stop it at this point. Go complete the readings on Youngstown Sheet and Tool Company. Look at the video on Youngstown Sheet and Tool Company. And then bring it back to here when you get back. Okay, so Youngstown Sheet and Tool Company. Truman seizes these plants, but here's the kicker. Congress had placed into the law that he used, right, that he could seize them. They then remove that part of the law and he sees them anyways. He said that it didn't forbid him from doing it, which means he could. The Supreme Court interpreted it as saying, they were going to grant him that power. They removed that part of the statute. So by removing it, in turn, what they were actually saying was that he can't do it. So the Supreme Court interpreted that by if it's not included, you can't because they specifically removed it from that law. 
Okay, so we have some pretty famous executive orders in history. Um, when time's short, you can't wait for Congress. This could be uh, during conflicts or war, doing things that the, that the Congress won't do. So you go to the Emancipation Proclamation. There's New Deal. There's the Japanese Americans right in internment camps, the desegregation of the military. Don't ask, don't tell under Clinton. And President Trump banning certain countries from traveling here. That's an executive order. He didn't want to wait for Congress to deal with this. So he didn't, right? He didn't. He issued an executive order that said these countries can't have people come here. And eventually, it was upheld by the courts. All right. Another thing having to do with executive power is executive privilege. And under executive privilege, okay, sorry about that. Under executive privilege, um, the president, the president can choose to not turn over information to Congress, right? So he can say that, look, I have a certain amount of time, um, and I want to do it in a particular way. I'm going to pause the video because it looks like my computer's gonna die, and then I'll pick up from executive privilege here in a minute with the next video.